Diyos amang makapangyarihan sa lahat, sa iyo ang papuri at kadakilaan, Panginoon. Salamat po sa araw na ito at sa walang kumpay na biyaya sa amin, Ama. Salamat po sa patuloy na paggabay sa mga pinuno ng aming bansa upang maiwasan at malabanan ang pandemya ito. Panginoon, batid po namin na kami ay makasalanan at tumingi po kami na kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming pagkukulang at pagkakasala sa iyo, Ama. Panginoon, tawa po ay patuloy mong gabaya ng aming mga pinuno, lalo tigit po ang mga nasa kagawaran ng edukasyon, na siyang gumagawa ng paraan upang maipagpatuloy pa din ang edukasyon maging sa panahong ito. Frontliners upang tuluyan silang makapaglipod at sila ay maging ligtas. Ang lahat po ng ito ay aming pinanalangin sa makapangyarihang Ama na aming tagapagligtas.
Isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat and welcome to our virtual celebration of Rabies Awareness Month, Educate to Eliminate. Una po sa lahat ay nais ko pong batiin ang lahat ng ating participants sa programang ito. Ang ating mga minamahal na elementary, integrated, and secondary school heads, ang ating mga guro, health and nutrition coordinators, ang lahat ng ating mga lifelong learners, at mga minamahal na magulang. In behalf of our esteemed Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Dante G. Parungao, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Zurex T. Bakay, at ang aming pong minamahal na School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Bernardo A. Gargabite, ako po si Dr. Marian C. Coronel, ang inyong Medical Officer 3 ng School Health and Nutrition Section ng Schools Division of Science City of Munoz, sampo ng aking mga kasama ay bumabati at nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng ating mga participants na makikilahok ngayong umaga sa aming programa. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Doctora. At this juncture, let me call our SGOD Chief to give us the statement of purpose of this webinar and also to deliver his delightful message. Dr. Bernardo A. Gargabite. To all the school health and uh, nutrition section personnel, public elementary and secondary school heads, health and nutrition coordinators, elementary and school and secondary school learners, parents, all other concerned, good day to all of you. In line with Division Memorandum Number 89 Series 2021, 
entitled Celebration of Rubbish Awareness Month. Educate to eliminate. The school's division's office through the school, school health and nutrition section under school governance operations division shall launch this activity to all public elementary, secondary, integrated schools in the Division of Science City of Munoz through a virtual cele celebration of Rubbish Awareness Month by MS Teams on March 9, 2021, 9 a.m. in the morning. Learners and parents are highly encouraged to join in the webinar and conduct online activities like poster making contest, slogan making contest, and coloring activity among the kindergarten learners. This activity would like to highlight that rabies is a viral illness spread via the saliva of an infected animal by the rabies virus known as genus lysavirus and transmitted among mammals or any warm-blooded animals like dogs, cats, horses, cattle, bats, and even to humans. Thus, the importance of this activity. Sa gawain pong ito, inaasahan namin na ang bawat isa, lalong-lalo na po ang ating mga stakeholder, mga magulang, ay uh, maunawaan ang mga konseptong ito upang mabigyang proteksyon ang kanilang mga batang mag-aaral na mga anak at kayo na rin upang bigyang suporta ang programang ito. Muli po, mula sa pamunuan ng Schools Division sa office, sa, mula po sa ating top management, ay uh, nagpapaabot po kami ng uh, marubdub na pakikiisa sa gawain ito upang sa gayon ay maunawaan natin at ma-i-apply natin sa pang-araw-araw na buhay ang mga konseptong ating matutunan mula rito. Muli po, isang magandang araw sa ating lahat. Thank you so much for that wonderful message, Sir Gargabite. To entertain us, let's give our warm virtual applause to the MNHS Main Junior High School SPA students. Talaga ba'y tatang?
Bambi Galing mo Pilipino kapatid Tingin ko ay naging mananaig Saan mamapunta sa mga sulok ng daigpit Pumipirit, pumipirit, tinig mong malupit Pumipirit, pumipirit, sige pa, pet, pet Pumipirit, pumipirit, ah, ah, kay lupet Pumipirit, pumipirit, oh yeah, I bet Lusang na lutang ang galing ng binas Dito ka na, tarala ka sa na Ang galing mong kapatid kailanman Upang basa ngayon ay kakanta Kakanta Tara na kanta ng Pilipinas Ipagkita na ang galing ng Pilipino Tara na kanta ng Pilipinas Tara na kanta ng Pilipinas Tara na kanta ng Pilipinas Ipagkita na is a graduate with Bachelor of Science in Animal Husbandry in 2013 and Doctor of Veterinary Medicine in 2015, both at Central Zon State University, Philippines. She is currently the city veterinarian at Vegan City, Ilocos Her research interest includes diagnosis and control of bacterial and viral diseases of veterinary importance, including development of vaccines for important animal diseases. Mr. Benyol believes that teaching is a continuous learning process. Thus, she still yearns for advanced education and more opportunities to do worthwhile researches that could help the society. Without further ado, let's all welcome our speaker, Dr. Ayet Zene Lei Robignol. Um, magandang oras o magandang araw po sa inyo pong lahat. Uh, first and foremost, gusto ko pong uh, mag-thank you sa lahat ng, uh, or, ng organizer ng uh, Rabies Awareness uh, Seminar po ngayong umaga. I am very much uh, humbled and privileged for this opportunity uh, given to me uh, to be part uh, of this uh, awareness um, seminar. And special thanks to Ma'am Charmaine. Siguro sabi ni Ma'am Charmaine, uh, alam niya, uh, siguro na hindi, hindi ko siya mahihindian uh, nung tumawag po sila uh, kung pwede po akong mag-discuss regarding rabies pero kidding aside, uh, si Ma'am Charmaine po kasi uh, sa po siyang naging malaking tulong sa amin nung kami po ay nagtitesis pa lamang po sa uh, CLS Alright, so uh, simulan na po natin um, Every month of March uh, we are um, celebrating the World's uh, Rabies Awareness Month so, for this year's theme, maging responsabling amo, huwag hayaang gumala ang alagang pusa at aso. So, for our topic outline, uh, we will be discussing about etiology or the causative agent of rabies disease, its distribution worldwide at dito sa uh, Pilipinas, its mode of transmission, pathogenesis, the clinical signs for both dogs and um, humans, diagnosis, control and prevention, and the management. Uh, but before we start, uh, I have cited here some 
of the myths and misconceptions about rabies. So uh, let's try uh, po to cross-check uh, these uh, myths and misconceptions with the facts about, ra uh, about rabies later on after po ng ating discussion. So according to them, rabies is not fatal. All dogs and cats are born naturally with rabies. Indoor dogs and cats don't need rabies vaccines. Rabies is only transmitted by animal bites. Tandok is safe and can cure rabies. And uh, rabies vaccines only work for a few months. And I even uh, included po uh, the frequently asked questions. So just like with the myths and misconceptions later, try din po nating sagitan ito uh, after po ng ating um, presentation. So uh, the frequently asked questions are what is rabies? How it is being transmitted? How does rabies develop in humans? How long does it take for dogs and cats to develop rabies? And how long does a rabid dog survive? What are the clinical features of rabies in humans and dogs? Any specific treatment for a rabies patient? Is simply observing the biting dog or cat for 10 days without starting just treatment justified? Can consumption of meat from an infected animal transmit rabies? What is the rabies vaccination schedule for pet dogs? So, uh, for our introduction, um, rabies is one of the oldest diseases known to mankind. Pero, until such this day, uh, wala pa pong available na uh, successful treatment once the patient uh, develops or manifests, manifests uh, symptoms and clinical signs. So, rabies is a contagious fatal viral infection of dogs, cats, and humans that mainly affects the brain, causing encephalomyelitis or swelling or inflammation of the brain. It has also a public health concern because this disease is zoonotic, which means ito po ay sakit ng mga hayop na po pwede pong uh, mahawaan ang mga tao sa pamagitan po lamang ng saliva o laway o bite o kagat ng isang infected o isang rabid na animal. And this disease is caused by a bullet-shaped Lysa virus uh, under the family um, Rhabdoviridae. And bites from infected dogs are the main source of rabies in humans. So just take note po that 96% uh, of, uh, of, of human cases is dog uh, treated. So and about 40% of bite victims are children ages 14 years and younger. And around 250 to 300 Filipinos die of rabies yearly. So, uh, tandaan lang po natin, uh, once na ang uh, symptoms, once na yung pong clinical signs ay nagmanifest na sa victim, there's nothing, there's almost nothing that we can do. So, ganun po ka-fatal, ganun po katindi ang uh, rabies disease. So, this is the uh, microscopic appearance of rabies virus. So, just... Uh, take note of the bullet shape kaya po siya tinawag na bullet shape kasi ganyan po yung kanyang appearance microscopically and uh, Lysa virus which means rage and fury under the family Rhabdoviridae and this rabies virus is very much fragile under most normal conditions so it can be uh, destroyed few minutes under temperatures greater than 122 degrees Fahrenheit and it can uh, even sunlight uh, can kill the virus and even most of our disinfectants that we are using at home can kill this virus. So, rabies disease is a major burden in Asia with an estimated uh, 35,000 of human deaths per year. Uh, sa Southeast Asia lang po ito. And all over uh, the world, it has an approximate of 50,000 human deaths per year. Uh, this rabies disease is present on all continents except in Antarctica. So here in the Philippines, uh, the disease is responsible for the death of 250 to 300 Filipinos annually. It is most common in rural areas and 96% of rabies cases in humans are dog mediated and rabies cases are usually higher during summer. So uh, ito pong uh, data na to, uh, galing po to sa Department of Health. Uh, data as of June 30, 2018. I uh, just cited here uh, regions and provinces na meron pong high uh, number of cases of human rabies. So, region 3, topping it all. Pero ito po ay uh, consolidated number of cases na from June 2014 to June 2018. Region 3, having 185 uh, cases 
Region 4A, 172. Region 12, 110. Region 5, 84. Region 1, 82. Region 11, 72. And NCR, 70. For the provinces naman po, Bulacan, 12. Tarlac, 11. Cebu, 10. Laguna, 7. Metro Manila, 7. Nueva Ecija, 7. And Pangasinan is 6. And these are the 10 rabies free areas sa uh, uh, Pilipinas. Uh, data as of October 15, 2017. So we have the Sikihor Island, the Boracay, uh, Marinduque, Kamigin Island, Palawan, Batanes, Camotes, Biliran, Guimaras, and Surigao del Norte. So with the mode of transmission, the animal bite it is the most common mode of transmission. However, uh, leaks, leaking on open wound, uh, abraded skin, and mucosal linings could also be uh, one of mode of transmissions. And even scratches can also be. Aerosols uh, during or uh, only in bats and kapag nasa um, environment tayo ng laboratorio. Uh, person to person, corneal and organ, organ transplant can be possible but it is rare. So, uh, for the mode of transmission, tandaan lang po natin na yung, yung uh, virus ay po pwede po makapasok sa katawan ng tao sa pamamagitan o katawan ng biktima sa pamamagitan po ng bite from an infected animal and scratches from an infected animal. So, for the uh, mechanism of uh, disease infection sa katawan po ng biktima, una po dyan is the entry of virus. Uh, nakatulad po ng nabanggit ko po kanina, uh, entry of virus sa pamamagitan po ng kagat o sa pamamagitan po ng uh, scratches. So, this uh, virus will replicate at the bite spot. Mag-replicate po siya uh, underneath the skin, pupwede rin po sa muscle. Once na-establish na po niya yung sarili niya sa uh, skin and muscle, magpe-penetrate na po siya, papunta po to the uh, peripheral uh, nerves ng katawan up to the central nervous system or the spinal cord and up to the brain. Once po na na-infect na yung brain ng uh, biktima, dito na po natin mapapansin yung mga behavioral changes and it can infect other organs as well. So, uh, based po sa ating um, evidence-based records, uh, the approximate speed of this uh, virus are reaching the uh, central nervous system is 12 to 12 to 14 millimeters per day. So for the clinical signs in dogs, uh, generally we have three phases. So we have the prodromal, we have the furious, uh, the par and the paralytic. For the prodromal phase, uh, this usually lasts two to four days. Uh, napapansin po natin na yung aso uh, nakakaroon ng fever, uh, general malis, or pwede po na tatamlay sila, ayaw na rin nilang uh, kumain, uh, hindi na sila active katulad po ng dati. Pero ito pong uh, symptoms po na to, hindi po siya uh, specific with uh, rabies uh, disease kasi any other dog uh, diseases uh, almost having the same symptoms. So uh, next is the furious face. Kung kayo po ay nakakaintindi ng Ilocano, dere apo ji ko na dang agbala when aguo yung aso or it is what we call the classical mad dog syndrome. During this uh, period, yung dog po ay uh, nagiging irritable uh, with the slightest provocation. Um, kinakagat po niya kung ano man po yung makita niyang moving moving objects. Uh, kumakain abnormally ng kahit ano makita niyang pwede kainin sa kanyang, kanyang paligid. And during this period, yung aso po ay uh, nagiging uh, at large or nagiging uh, gala, running with no apparent direction and running with no apparent reason. And one of the uh, things na po pwede po natin o symptoms na po pwede po natin uh, makita with this face ay yung tinatawag po natin hypersalivation or uh, drooling of saliva sa uh, angles ng kanya pong bunganga. So, for, so the third one is the paralytic face or ito yung po tinatawag natin na um, terminal stage na kung saan yung dog ay paralisada na po yung kanyang throat and yung kanyang uh, muscle for mastication. So, hindi na po siya makakainom, hindi na po siya makakakain, and it will eventually lead to coma and death. So, for the clinical signs in humans, generally meron pong two uh, 
signs. So we have the frantic and we have the paralytic. But the most commonly seen uh, clinical signs in humans, yun pong frantic or yun pong uh, furious uh, sign. So initially, yun pong uh, nakakaroon po ng pain, uh, swelling, and itchiness sa my side of bite, a uh, severe headache, um, vomiting, uh, fever, and general malaise that will last for 2 to 4 days. Nagkakaroon po ng, uh, o naging irritable yung biktima, at nagkakaroon din po ng aggression. So, uh, ito pong tatlong clinical signs po na to, ito po yung um, sinasabi natin na definite uh, signs of rabies in humans, yung pong hydrophobia, uh, photophobia, and, aer and aerophobia. Ito po yung takot siya sa tubig, uh, hindi po, uh, intolerant po siya sa, sa ilaw, sa ingay, at saka po sa, sa hangin. And the duration of illness for a uh, human ay uh, in between 2 to 6 days. So, when the symptoms manifested, there's almost nothing that we can do. Except for intensive nursing care, uh, IV fluid therapy, kasi it is uh, almost impossible na uh, mapakain, mapakain po yung patient uh, orally and uh, sedation in cases po na sobra magiging agresibo po yung pasyente. And we have also uh, what we call the incubation period. So incubation period, it is the number of days between when you are infected with virus and when you might see the symptoms. So for the incubation period po sa humans, few days to months and to years. So maari po siguro na pwede natin i-correlate po ito doon sa uh, location ng bite. So, kung halimbawa, ang location po ng bite ay nasa paa, uh, mas matagal po yung incubation period. As compared kapag po yung bite site ay sa kamay, sa neck, tsaka po sa, tsaka po sa ulo. Uh, especially na, uh, sa parte po ng katawan na to ng uh, tao, uh, ito po yung marami pong, uh, mas marami po yung peripheral, uh, peripheral nerves. And as I've mentioned uh, earlier, na yung kung approximate speed, uh, meron pong uh, kinalaman yung approximate uh, speed nung uh, virus reaching the central nervous system uh, approximate speed of 12 to uh, 14 uh, millimeters per day so for the incubation period for dogs naman po, days to several months and for the duration of illness until death is 1 to 7 days so kung narinig niyo na po yung mantra na ganito na pag yung aso ay positibo sa rabies, uh, hindi na po siya mabubuhay ng more than 7 days. So, uh, yung duration po of illness ng dog with uh, rabies ay 1 to 7 days lamang po. So, for the diagnosis, uh, we will be needing saliva, neck biopsy, serum, uh, cerebrospinal fluid, and brain biopsy as samples for humans and for animals, uh, head and yung brain. So, for the criteria for submitting animal heads for rabies diagnosis, any animal suspected of having rabies should be sacrificed immediately and sent to the laboratory for, for examination. Pero dapat humane uh, killing po ang, ang dapat pong gawin. And healthy animals can undergo observation for 10 to 14 days. A stray animal that is implicated for biting humans can be killed immediately and sent to the laboratory for examination. So for large animals should be killed and decapitated prior for submission. A specimen should be packed in suitable watertight containers such an ice chest, especially po kapag yung pong laboratory uh, it will take for uh, travel na aabot ng more than 8 hours, uh, kailangan po ng uh, maraming yellow uh, ice chest kasi yung pong sample ay dapat nearly fresh. So, uh, ito po ay isang uh, cross-section of uh, brain. Uh, ang kailangan po natin dito ay uh, for rabies testing is the cerebellum shown by the blue line. So, uh, yung, ang, ang part, sa parting cerebellum naman po, ang kailangan po natin dyan na makakuha ng samples ay sa may um, gray matter at saka sa folia. Uh, so, uh, meron po tayong uh, four um, uh, test for rabies diagnosis. So we have the rabies test kit, virus isolation or the mouse inoculation test. We have the cellar stain 
and the fluorescence antibody test. Pero among po dito sa apat na to, it is the FAT or the fluorescence antibody test is the most uh, common and widely used test for rabies as it is also recommended by the World Health Organization and the OI. So uh, this is an example picture of a dog brain smear positive for rabies. So nasa left side ko po, ito po ay uh, negative for viral antigen. At yung nasa right side ko naman po, positive po siya for viral antigen. So uh, by the word itself, fluorescence, so yung kulay green na nag-fluorescence, uh, that indicates uh, um, positive viral antigen. So for the control and uh, prevention, basically we have to uh, animal rabies control, which is the primary uh, preventive measure as we are preventing the source of the disease. And the second one is the human rabies prevention. It is the uh, secondary um, preventive measure. So uh, for the control and prevention as mandated by the law or the Republic Act 9482, these are the vaccination, leashing of dogs, and project stray animal catch. So ito po ay uh, very uh, practical and um, economical. So for the vaccination, uh, it is also the local government unit's priority na magbakuna ng free sa mga sa mga uh, barabarangay uh, yung pong mga dogs and cats na may tatlong buwang ta, tatlong buwang gulang pwede na po silang mabakunahan. So leashing of dogs, ay wag po nating hayaang uh, nakagala kasi bukod po sa rabies na may, maaring maidulot ng mga stray dogs, uh, maaari din po na masangkot sila sa mga vehicular incidents. Uh, project stray animal catch. So uh, how to manage by uh, the uh, most effective um, the most effective first aid treatment uh, in a bite, uh, animal bite, is to wash the bite with running water with soap at least 10 minutes. We can also we can also use uh, antiseptic like alcohol and uh, iodine. And the third but the most important uh, management to a bite is always go to the animal bite treatment center and have your post-exposure prophylaxis treatment. Uh, wag, wag, wag din po natin gagawin na magpagamot sa mga albularyo at saka sa mga magtatando kasi it's only the uh, post-exposure prophylaxis that can prevent the rabies virus. Right? So, since na-mention na rin po natin kanina yung Republic Act uh, 9482 or the Anti-Rabies Act of the uh, Philippines, we'll try to go over po uh, with this Republic Act uh, yung po mga highlights na lamang. So, the Republic Act 9482 or the Anti-Rabies Act of the Philippines, it is an act providing for the control and elimination of human and animal rabies, uh, prescribing penalties for violation thereof and appropriating fund thereof. So, we have the National Rabies Prevention and Control Program Implementing Agency. So, we have the Department of Agriculture, Department of Health, DILG, People's Organizations, DANR, Local Government Units, and the Department of Education. So, uh, the National Rabies Prevention and Control Program, number one po dyan, yung mass vaccination of dogs. Impounding, field control, and disposition of unregistered and unvaccinated dogs. Information education campaign, provision of pre-exposure treatment to high-risk personnels, and uh, post-exposure treatment to animal bite victims and promotion of responsible dog or pet ownership. So for the Section 5 of this, of this Republic Act, may kita po natin dito yung responsibilities of pet owners. So reg have your dogs uh, be regularly vaccinated with anti-rabies vaccine. So uh, meron po uh, tayong free. Uh, ang local government unit ay nagbibigay po ng free na anti-rabies uh, vaccination sa inyo po mga alagang aso at pusa. Pumunta lamang po kayo sa mga uh, local uh, veterinarians, uh, municipal agricultural um, officer po natin. So, meron dapat din po uh, yung mandatory registration of their dogs. Maintain control of their dogs. So, ito po yung katulang sinabi ko kanina, leashing of your dogs na huwag natin silang hayaang gumala uh, sa mga pampublikong lugar. 
responsible dog owner report dog biting incidents within 24 hours and assist in shoulder expenses of victims by their dog. So, ito po naman yung uh, karani, karaniwang uh, nangyayari sa uh, mga bayan-bayan. Nagkakaroon po kasi ng, ano, uh, ng, ng misnomer. So, limbawa, yung pong may-ari ng asong gala ay namatay dahil nasagasaan siya o dahil nakasangkot po siya sa isa, isang aksidente. So, as a normal reflex ng may-ari ng aso, pagpababayaran niya yung damage sa kanyang aso dun sa uh, nakabangga. Pero uh, as mandated or stated by the law, it should be the owner of the stray animal or the stray dog ang magsha-shoulder sa lahat ng medical expenses ng uh, bit sa biktima ng kanyang aso. Okay? So for the Department of Education, uh, strengthen rabies education program through school health teaching curriculum assist in the dog mass immunization campaigns in the community encourage collaborative activities with all the line agencies integrate proper information and education on responsible pet ownership and the relevant subjects in the elementary and high school levels uh, so next po is the responsibilities of the LGU uh, number one ensure that all dogs are properly immunized. So, katulad mo sabi ko kanina, uh, priority ng local government unit ang pagbabakuna ng mga uh, aso sa mga kanayunan, kanayunan o kaya sa mga barabarangay. Promotion of responsible pet ownership and allocate funds to augment the implementation of the National Rabies Prevention and Control. Ensure the enforcement of the Animal Welfare Act of 1998 prohibit and that the trade of dogs for meat consumption and with, with respect to the cities and first class municipalities uh, they should establish and maintain a dog pound where impounded dogs shall be kept all right so uh, let's go uh, po dun sa uh, cross checking uh, between facts and myths about rabies so uh, unang uh, myth po kanina all dogs and cats are naturally born with rabies. So that is false. Because dogs and cats are naturally born healthy. They can, they can only get infected through contact to a rabid animal. So uh, next myth is rabies is only transmitted by animal bite. So that is again false. Because leaking to wounds, uh, broken skin, lining of the mouth and nose can also be mode of transmission. Next, rabies vaccines only work for few months. Uh, this is false because rabies vaccines are quite effective in an animals and last about a year. Kaya pag nabakunahan po yung aso natin halimbawa ngayon, it should be revaccinated yearly or annually. Indoor cats and dogs should not receive anti-rabies vaccine. That is false because it is always safer to get your pets vaccinated. An indoor pet living in a rural environment could escape and be beaten by a rabid wild animal. Next, tandok is safe and can cure a rabies. So that's definitely false. It is only through post-exposure prophylaxis that rabies can be prevented. And rabies is not fatal. Rabies is always fatal. There is no effective treatment and rabies is always life-threatening when left untreated. So, uh, let's go over na rin po with the frequently asked uh, questions. So, hopefully, uh, masagot po natin ito since we almost uh, finish with our um, uh, discussion. So, what is rabies? Uh, rabies is a disease transmitted to humans and it is caused by a virus, Lysa virus. And how is rabies transmitted? It is transmitted primarily from the rabid animal's saliva when it bites or it scratches someone. How does rabid, rabies develop in humans? After entering the human body, the rabies virus progresses to the innermost layer of tissue below the skin or to the muscle, into the peripheral nerves and up to the central nervous system. So how long does it take for dogs and cats to develop rabies? So for the incubation period of uh, rabies ranges from few days 
to several months, whereas the duration of illness until death varies from 1 to 7 days. So next, what are the clinical features of rabies in dogs and humans? So for dogs, uh, we have uh, mentioned earlier that merong three uh, general phase of clinical signs sa aso, the pro prodromal, um, the furious, and the paralytic. So, uh, mapapansin natin during this phase na meron silang fever, malaise, aggression, paralysis, and death. And for humans naman, uh, two uh, clinical signs, so we have the uh, frantic and the uh, paralytic, uh, and the most um, common or the definite um, clinical signs in humans are the photophobia, aerophobia, and the hydrophobia. And next question is, is there any specific treatment for a rabies patient? So, katulad po na sabi ko kanina, uh, once that the disease symptoms is manifested and progresses, uh, there's almost nothing that we can do. Pero uh, para sa mga rab rabies uh, patient, uh, we can also, we can uh, always give the intensive nursing care, uh, IV fluid should be given, and sedation is advisable, most especially kapag nagiging sobrang agresibo sila. Is uh, simply observing the biting dog or cat for 10 days without starting treatment justified? So, hindi po. Uh, especially sa mga areas na mataas yung prevalence ng rabies disease at sa mga areas po na kung saan maraming aso ang gala at maraming pong aso na hindi regularly na nababakunahan, it is compulsory for the start of treatment while the dog or cat is obs under observation for 14 days. So, after the 14 days period at yung hayop ay uh, remains uh, healthy yung post-exposure vaccine na naibigay doon sa victim can be converted into uh, pre-exposure uh, prophylaxis na kung sakali at nagkakaroon ng uh, future um, bite, at least meron na siyang protection. So, next is, uh, can consumption of meat from an infected animal transmit rabies? So, uh, based din po sa ating um, literatures that raw meat from infected animal might transmit the rabies disease. However, uh, there's no evidence still that cooked meat from infected rabid dog or infected uh, rabid animal can transmit rabies disease. Pero gusto ko lang pong reiterate na dog trading and dog meat consumption is punishable by law. So it's never advisable na kumain po tayo ng, ng uh, rabid dog o yung mga hayop na uh, nagkaroon ng infection with rabies. So for the last uh, frequently asked question, what is the rabies vaccination schedule for pet dogs? Um, as early as 3 month old, uh, of your dogs and cats, po pwede na po silang mabakunahan ng anti-rabies and it should be revaccinated annually. So, uh, gusto ko lang din pong uh, i-share yung city government of vegan efforts and practices in observing the local government unit responsibilities as stated in Republic Act 9482 as a support and augmentation in national rabies prevention and control. So we have uh, we have an existing uh, city ordinance or the Vegan City Animal Regulation and Control Code which was adopted from the Republic Act 9482. And this uh, city ordinance primarily aims to promote the advocacy on responsible pet ownership. And uh, we have also a yearly program of anti-rabies uh, mass vaccination as we already started our extensive and intensive mass uh, rabies vaccination last week, March 1, in all barangays of vegan. And we are also using the social media as part of our information education campaign for I believe that it is a good uh, innovation and avenue uh, to update the vegenios on our existing city ordinance as well as the Republic Act 94. A2, as it promotes the uh, responsible pet ownership. We are also doing a uh, rabies awareness seminar to various student organizations and vegan, Barangay Council, 
pet owners, elementary schools, and as we celebrated the uh, World's uh, Rabies Day last September 28, 2020, uh, we strategically posted tarpaulins uh, on all barangays of vegan uh, regarding the Republic Act 9482 and our city ordinance or the Vegan City Animal Regulation and Control Code. And we have also a well-maintained uh, city pound as we are also looking after uh, the welfare of all the uh, impounded dogs. Uh, sila po ay napapakain araw-araw, napapaliguan regularly at ang uh, kanila pong cages or yung pong mismong uh, city pound po natin ay uh, na lilinisan po palagi. And we are also uh, doing the mandatory anti-rabies vaccination para po sa mga bagong huling aso uh, o sa mga bagong uh, huli ang aso uh, sa city pound. Alright, so I would also like po to acknowledge our uh, partner uh, office, the Vegan City Health Office, uh, who is, uh, which is catering uh, or giving um, post-exposure prophylaxis sa mga bite, uh, victims. And also with all of our dog vaccinators and dog catchers have been given the pre-exposure prophylaxis. So, uh, Yun lang po, and I hope po na kahit pa paano, uh, meron po o naging um, informative po yung ating discussion ngayong araw po na to. And uh, bago po ako mag-end, uh, I would like po to uh, get this opportunity to appeal to all of us uh, na tulungan po natin ang ating gobyerno. Uh, let us all be uh, law-abiding uh, citizen. Uh, I believe na kung hindi man po lahat ng mga nakikinig ay may mga aso, may mga alagang aso at pusa, pero most of us. So, uh, pabakunahan po natin ating mga alagang aso, uh, itali po natin sila para maiwasan po natin ang rabies at anumang pong klaseng iba pong problema. So, uh, that would be all. Uh, bago po mag-end ang presentation ko, uh, gusto ko lang pong iwanan o mag-iwan o mag-share ng uh, verse. Uh, sabi po sa numbers... 6 verse 21 to 24 The Lord bless you and keep you The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you and the Lord turns His face towards you and give you peace. So thank you so much and uh, God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Ang paniniwala tungkol sa rabies Una, mali ang paniniwala na ang lahat ng aso at pusa ay may rabies. Ang totoo, ay ipinanganak ang aso't pusa na walang sakit na rabies. Nagkakaroon lamang ng rabies ang aso't pusa kapag ito'y nakagat o nalawayan ng isang hayop na mayroong rabies. Pangalawa, mali ang paniniwala na ang rabies sa tuta at kuting ay mas nakakamatay kaysa matatandang aso't pusa. Ang totoo ay nakakamatay ang rabies kahit anong edad at klase o breed ng aso at pusa. Pangatlo, mali ang paniniwala na ang tandok Tambal, buhay na bato, o ang paglalagay ng bawang sa sugat ay pangunahing panglunas sa kagat ng aso. Ang totoo ay hindi nakakatulong ang lahat ng mga ito sa kagat ng aso at pusa. Ang rabies ay maiiwasan sa pamamagitan lamang ng maiging paghugas ng kinagat na parte ng tao at pagpunta sa pinakamalapit na Animal Bite Treatment Center o ABTC sa inyong lugar. Naging matapat sila sa atin, kaya naman nararapat lang na ibigay natin sa kanila ang waskong pag-aalaga. Maaari nating masumpo ang banta ng rabies kung isa sa alang-alang natin ang mga responsibilidad sa pag-aalaga ng aso. Maging responsabling amo. Thank you so much, Dr. Robin. Thank you so much, Dr. Robignol, for that very informative talk about rabies. Now, for the awarding of certificate, let me read the citation. This certificate of recognition is awarded to Riot G. Robignol, BBM, for being the resource speaker during the Rabies Awareness Month seminar entitled Rabies, Educate to Eliminate. On March 9, 2021, held at the school's division office as per Division Memorandum No. 89, Series of 2021. Given this ninth day of March 2021, 
at the school's division office, Barangay Rizal, Science City of Munoz, Nueva Ecija. Signed, Dante G. Parungao. We would like to express our gratitude to our guest speaker, Dr. Ruben Yon, for your very informative talk about rabies. Now ay marami po tayong nakuhang tagdag na kaalaman. Alright, now let me call once again our Division Medical Officer, Dr. Marian Coronel, for the closing remarks. Ang rabies ay nakamamatay at mahalaga na ang bawat isa sa atin ay maging maagap, matalino at maging responsible pet owners upang maiwasan ang pagkakaroon ng kaso ng rabies sa ating lungsod. Kami ay malugod na nagpapasalamat sa ating resource speaker sa programang ito na si Doktora Zin Lei G. Robinior, City Veterinarian ng Vegan City, Ilocos Sur. Doktora, maraming salamat po sa pagbabahagi ng inyong kaalaman tungkol sa rabies at paano ito maiwasan. At sa lahat po ng ating mga participants ngayong umaga, lalong-lalo na po sa ating mga lifelong learners at mga minamahal na magulang. In behalf of the school's division office ng Science City of Munoz, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat at maging ligtas. Maraming salamat po. Great! Thank you everyone! We appreciate you for joining us today in this webinar. Once again, I'd like to read this year's Rabies Awareness Month theme, Maging Responsabling Amo, Huwag Hayaang Gumala Ang Alagang Pusa at Aso. Good day and keep safe!